Everyone, welcome to the first installment of the Chad and Chili Challenge. I hope you're ready for an epic sudden death triathlon between me and this skinny bastard. Here we go with a 500 meter swim, three mile bike ride, three mile run. Stand by. I'm gonna give you some tips about how to win a triathlon because y'all about to see me win today. This is the bike that I've uh, chosen for this specific ride. Now we're gonna do, our, our ride's gonna be on the road, but what y'all don't realize is a mountain bike is faster on the road than a road bike if you're doing a triathlon. So that's why I've selected this. Uh, Chili, what do you have? Yeah, man, it's a 1984 Centurion Dave Scott Iron Man Edition. That's, uh, that's the baddest unit on the market. And uh, what he just told you about that is completely untrue. This is a this is a grade A tri bike, and um, you about to see it put to work. A couple other tips when you're running triathlon: make sure your shoes are loosened up before you do your swim, because when you come out. You want to be able to get your shoes on pretty quick, all right? Triathlons are won in the transition area. That's where they're won or lost is in the transition. So we're shooting for lightning fast transitions today. You got anything to say? That's a little short on the swim and bike, but that's how I like it. You know you have no chance, right? That's why it's sudden death. Yeah. Oh no, I, I've already come to the conclusion I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and beat you on this one. All right. Generally, I let you win a thing or two, but... I'm gonna go ahead and beat the you on this. The run's too one. long. You ain't much of a runner, so we'll see about we'll give that. Give it a shot. All right, y'all better be ready for this, son. Mine ain't. Oh, mine's ready. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna kick this swim off. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Boy, you got some serious energy, don't you, buddy? <laughs> All right, look. These jokers this have is, drugged me down here to do a triathlon. Look, if, as if Chad didn't do a very good job in the intro of explaining what's going on. Listen, me and him like to compete a lot, so we decided we're going to come out here and do a short swim, a short ride, and then a three-mile run and see who finishes first. He likes to talk crap. I beat him in every single thing we do, and you're about to see an example of that. So thanks for tuning in. He don't beat me in everything. Got a handful of Big Mama's butt. <laughs> Gotta work on my transition speed. Make sure your shoes are loosened up before you do your swim because when you come out, you wanna be able to get your shoes on pretty quick, all right? Triathlons are one in the transition area. That's where they're won or lost is in the transition. So we're shooting for lightning fast transitions today. Oh, you in trouble, son. I ain't much of a swimmer. Don't worry though. I'll get him on this ride. Grab my shirt when you leave there, cameraman. Oh, 
he don't got enough time on me now. Y'all see, swimming ain't really important. Neither is riding. You just gotta do the training that matters. It's just running. He's working me, son. Man, he can't play with me, man. He can't play with me. You can't touch me! I'm just getting warmed up. Sorry. Way too easy. Way too easy. Thank you, man. Good job there, buddy. What was that, an 18 minute 5K? Oh, you know I don't look. I just had to watch on to make sure I got the distance. What that happened, man? I had a 21 minute 5K. What happened? We'll talk about it in a minute. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen Chili in the last three years go from stud to dud and back to stud. He's finally getting back in shape. We all know he doesn't have any bottom end though. So this was his game. We'll see what happens when we do a challenge that involves a little bottom end. I got a feeling you're going to blow your bottom end out just like you always do. Hey, look, man, y'all might want to leave a comment below and tell us what we should do next because if it involves running or anything endurance related, he's going to get absolutely killed. So try to help us find something that he can actually beat me in, and then we'll go try that because... I've been racking my brain and I can't think of one thing. So. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, the old bull is not known for his short distances. The old bull, it, it, look, man, there's a difference between old man strength and little boy strength, all right? You ever seen a little kid, that little kid can run across the kitchen floor real fast? That's, that's chilly. But we go out and we do something that involves some serious endurance, he ain't gonna stand a chance. Well, I've already proved that many times before, so. Yeah. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Let us know what you wanna see next. This is the Chad and Chili Challenge. Enough said. <laughs>